So the beads that I used um, are from Michael's, um, from their bead gallery collection. And they came like this. There was three to a pack. I just took this apart. And this is what they look like when they're separated. Now, this particular pack had two purple and one pink. So I'm going to work with the purple because I wanted to make a pair. And if you look on the back, there's a pair of holes here and a pair of holes here. And that's what we're going to work with when we make it. So I am using a size 11 mauve and a size 6 mauve. You also need a clasp of your choice and a meter to a meter and a half of fishing line depending how big your foot is. So take your fishing line and working with the size 11 beads what you're going to do is you're going to thread on enough beads to make the toe part in this case I have about 50 beads for my toe just let it fall and hang in the middle of your fishing line so take one end of your fishing line and you're going to thread on one purple bead then take the other end of your fishing line and with the other end like we've done in all, like all the other videos before we're going to thread back through your one bead there we go okay so grab those two short ends and pull see and what this is going to do is just finish off your circle for your toe. Now we're going to make, um, just like we did for the twisted barefoot sandal, we're going to make little loops. So now what you want to do is on, on one side of your fishing line you're going to do about 10 beads and just let it fall, let it fall down. Now you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side of your fishing line, just like that. Now what you want to do is you want to bring these together. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab, grab one end of your fishing line. And just like we just did before, we're going to add one bead. And then grab the other end of your fishing line, just like that. So grab the other end of your fishing line and go through that purple bead just like we did for the toe piece. You got your little X. Grab the two short ends and pull. Okay, so just repeat those ten beads two more times so you have three small loops. So you should have something that looks like this. Now what we're going to do is on one side you're going to bead five size 11 beads and one size 6 bead. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. Okay, and what that's going to do is it's going to make your branch off to add your flower. So the next part is to add your flower. So what you want to do is you want to look at the back and you want to see these holes. You want to line them up. So we're going to match the right holes with the right side of the fishing line. And you're going to go through the bottom one and then you're going to go up through the top one and just pull tight. There you go. You see your fishing line? That's one option. So for the other option I'm going to take my left side and I'm going to go through the bottom just like I did for the other one. But instead of going straight through the top is I'm going to thread on a whole bunch of beads and what you're going to do 
is just measure. So just hold it snug and just measure where that hole at the top is. Now I have too many beads, so I'm going to take about three off. There was about 15, so I'd say there's, I guess there's about 12 left. I'm going to take those three off, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this top hole. So option one is to just have the plain fishing line or you can fill that space with beads if you don't like this option. So that's what it looks like so far. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to work in reverse. So what you're going to do is you're going to add one size 6 seed bead and five size 11 beads. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. There you go. Now just take your fishing line ends in your hand. Now we want to finish off. So you want one purple bead to finish the loop. So thread your other end just like we did before. And just pull that down. There you go. Now do one more loop of 10. So once you've added another circle of 10 and you've sealed it off with a bead in the middle, you'll have something that looks like this. Now, depending on your length of foot, um, if we flip this over, this you might want to stop here. If your foot's longer, you might want to add another one. But for my foot, um, I'm going to stop here. If this is too long for your foot, maybe take one of these out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate my fishing line. So I have a right, my right side and my left side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the anklet part. Take one side of your fishing line at a time and what you're going to do is I've decided to choose a simple pattern. So what I've done is I've threaded on 20 size 11 beads and one size 6 bead and just let that fall down and I've decided to repeat that pattern to the desired length of my anklet so I ended up doing 21, 21, 21 and then I finished off with a set of 10 just to make the length fit my foot and of course what you do to one side going to want to do to the other. Okay, so what you do to this side, you're going to want to do to this side. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to take both of these ends and you're going to take this side and tie it to this end of your clasp and this end you're going to take and tie to that however you want to tie it off. I prefer square knots. Okay, so once you've done that it should look something like this. Now what you want to do is take your loose ends and you're going to thread them back down into your work on either side and cut off the excess thread. And there you go. That's what it looks like all finished.